Hi everyone, and welcome back to 3D Printing Thursday. We're hot off the heels of our FX20 reveal livestream, which is linked in the description of this video if you would like to learn more about the system, and so we figured we'd dedicate the next two episodes of this series to FX20 related walkthroughs. So with that being said, this particular episode is going to be a quick overview of how our user can load Ultim 9085 into the FX20. Ultim 9085 is a high strength thermoplastic that is new to the Mark Forge ecosystem, and just like with other MarkForge plastics, it can be reinforced with carbon fiber to greatly enhance the properties of your parts. To get started with loading Ultim, you'll first select the plastic nozzle menu, which will give you several options related to material and temperature control. Since we have no material loaded, we'll select the emphasized load material option. This starts the load material utility, which lets us choose between Onyx or Ultim as our main building material. We'll select Ultim since this wouldn't be much of a video otherwise, and then go to the next step. Here we can choose our spool size between the standard 800cc spool and the new and obviously larger 3200cc size. Lastly, we can choose if we're loading a brand new spool or a spool that has been previously used, which would allow us to input the spool weight so the printer could track our remaining material. Once we've reached this point, we can unlock our cabinet and move on to loading the spool. Inside the material cabinet, you can see that there's two different mounts for spools. The mount labeled A is for the plastic modeling material, so this is where we will mount our spool of Ultim. After the spool is in place, we can start the extruder motor back on the UI, which is right above the cabinet, and while we are doing that, we'll quickly make sure the spool is secure using the magnetic cap. With our spool of Ultim securely installed and the extruder motor started, the final loading step will be to run the strand through the material path until it hits the motor. You can see from the motor and tube that are highlighted here that this is a very short distance to feed the material. Once the strand actually hits the extruder, the onboard systems will automatically complete the rest of the loading process. Since we're loading Ultim into the system, we will also load the Ultim support material onto the B mount and start the same loading process except this time by starting with the B nozzle in our UI. The support material for Ultim helps hold up any features that are at too steep of an angle during the printing process and once your parts are done, all you need to do is quickly separate the supports and you're good to go with your part. Thanks for joining us for this quick overview of loading Ultim 9085 into the FX20. We're extremely excited for this material and for what people end up creating when using it. Again, our reveal livestream is linked in the description, and feel free to subscribe so you can be notified of our next FX20 episode. Have a great day, everyone.